If you're a fan of spring cleaning, then I think that you'll also be a fan of spring cleaning your mind. I've done multiple decluttering videos on my channel to help bring us one step closer to becoming a purposeful minimalist, to live our lives a much simpler and more meaningful way. But I thought about doing a video on spring cleaning your mind. What that means is decluttering your mind of all negative thoughts. Sometimes we can't turn off negative thoughts, especially if you're like me and you tend to come up with these scenarios in your head that are basically horrible and terrible and terrifying and horrific and you dwell on them. But I think with the power of our minds, what we can do is shift our mindset, change our perspective and turn those negative thoughts into positive ones. So continuing on with my spring cleaning decluttering theme this month, here's how to get rid of these five negative thoughts. The first one is if people have a problem with you, it is not you, it's their problem. Okay, let me get real with you guys here. I have been dealing with negative comments on my channel and they actually are mostly on my American and Germany videos. I'm just gonna put that out there. I still have some comments on my channel that I just left there because I feel like I don't always want to hide negative comments and I'm not the type of person that ignores behavior like that. I always pick and pick and pick until that person basically gets what they started. A lot of these people behind the screen, they don't like the taste of their own medicine. And I'm not the one to push you to get to the point where you start calling me names, but I am that type of person who will endlessly defend herself if you are in the complete wrong. And that's exactly what happened. A lot of people on the internet don't expect people to respond to their negative comments because they just don't see that their comments are harmful. I think you have to use your best judgment on whether a comment is harmful to you or not and just know how to react to it in a professional and moral way. What bothers me is not that people even leave comments like this because that's just the nature of the internet or the nature of just people who are super arrogant. What bothers me is that these people would do it to others and I know that they do and they will continue to do so to people who might not even react the same way that I do. I stand my ground and I can be really annoying about it until you get so fed up with me and you walk away. But it really helps me to put this video together because I want anyone who comes across my videos to take my advice and use it for their own lives. Negativity runs through our lives no matter on any walk of life that we come from. And it's so important to not let them eat away at you. It's important to know who you are and who you want to be and react to negativity in the way that you would be teaching lessons to maybe your future children or a loved one who might not be as strong as you are. So that goes with my first negative thought. It's not that people hate you or really dislike you. It's not you, it's them. It's a problem that they have with themselves that they want to put out on somebody else that for some reason they don't like. You know who you are and you need to stand your ground and move on with your life. And by all means, defend other people as well. The second negative thought in your head is telling yourself that you'll never be rich. I know exactly where you're coming from. I'm old and I have no money, but let me tell you something we'll all be okay. Of course, there are tons of perks to being rich. You can literally do anything that you want, buy anything you want, whatever. But what it comes down to is most people just want to live a comfortable life. Comfortable means you just don't have to worry about getting food on the table, about getting a place to live, about having a family. You will be okay, trust me. All you have to do is continue to work hard and believe in yourself. You need to define success in your own words and success does not always mean being rich. But of course, by all means, reach for the stars. The third negative thought that you need to get rid of, that you really need to spring clean from your mind is nobody wants to be my friend or I have no friends because people don't like me. 
because I don't like people. Now there are tons of people out there who joke around about the fact that they don't like people, that's why I'm alone. It's not true because you wouldn't be doing the things that you do if you didn't like people. And I have to say it, like, don't be such a nuisance to your parents saying that, like, I don't like people. Like, it's such a an off-putting way. I mean, maybe that's why people don't like you because you say that you hate people. Anyways, I don't have friends either. And I count that as getting to know myself really well. I never made a video about why I don't have friends or a lot of them or close ones or whatever because I feel like I'm just starting to get to know myself really well and I'm living for myself. It's not to say that I hate making friends, that I hate people. I absolutely do not hate people. I love having friends. I love having people who share the same interests, who can have an intellectual conversation with me, but also have a lot of fun, stupid fun. It's just that I grew up in a different neighborhood than all of my friends growing up. And even when I was going to college in the same borough as where I live, I don't really have any friends that I kept in touch with. So I don't know. I mean, I feel okay. As long as you feel okay and you know that people don't hate you and don't not want to be your friend, it's not that people hate you. It just might be maybe you lack confidence to make friends, to talk to people. Maybe you lack the confidence to keep a conversation going. I will do a video on confidence next month. Honestly, facing your fears is the best way to get over them. Using that adrenaline that you get, that heart pumping adrenaline that you get when you are afraid and nervous and anxious. You have to use that for your own advantage. But just know that people don't hate you. Just change your attitude about that and I'm telling you also that you are not alone. Besides, that's what internet friends are for. They're always going to be there for you because they're always using the internet. They're always online. A great place to make friends or to spend time with people who you don't actually have to spend time with if that's something that you don't exactly like about having friends, like having to hang out with them when you don't really want to, is Twitch because you get to see people live and you get to interact with them. You don't have to, but it's kind of like spending time with a friend because you can see them live. I also count not having friends as being really picky about the people that you want in your inner circle. I think that is one of the best things you can do for yourself because if you love yourself and you know yourself that you're a really good person, a really good friend, really good companion, partner, why wouldn't you want to be extremely picky about the people that you let into your life? A lot of us have been hurt in the past and others who try to get close to you should understand that. You need to also be clear with why it's not that easy to let people in and have them stay there. The fourth negative thought that you should get rid of, declutter, spring clean from your mind, is I'm horrible at something, so I just can't or don't want to do it. If you're bad at something, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will never be able to be good at that or even mediocre. You might be really bad at playing a certain video game. I'm really bad at baking. It either means that you have to practice so much more than you would for things that you have a natural ability to do. And sometimes there are so many things out there that you just really aren't good at and you probably never will be. And that's not my being a hypocrite telling you to change your negative thought that if you're bad at something that you're always going to be bad at it. It just is a natural thing that a lot of us just aren't good at everything, no matter how hard we try. But if you are really passionate about getting good at that thing, then work harder and harder and harder. And don't be afraid to ask for help. The fifth and last negative thought that you should get rid of is I can't do it ever. This ties in with the fourth one that if you're bad at something, then you feel like you will never be good at it. But this is like telling yourself, for instance, I am never going to learn German because it's too hard, so I can't do it. As soon as you tell yourself that, you're signaling to your brain to not ever be able to learn it. Your brain is so smart 
but you are obviously in control of how you want your brain to work. Have your brain work for you. As soon as you tell yourself you can't, I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to. But if you tell yourself that I can and I will, you will open up the gate to opportunity. Give yourself a chance. It's not going to be easy, but it will pay off in the end. Don't take away from yourself something that you really wanted to do by telling yourself that you just can't do it. You wanted to do it in the first place, so put in the time and effort to get there. Say it with me, I can and I will. In German, that's ich kann und ich werde. That was pretty good, right? Share with me in the comments what is a negative thought that you have in your head that you really want to get rid of. Subscribe to see more videos from me. I would love to see you guys come back. I have a video that I recommend you watch. I will link it in the description box down below or you can click it on my end screen and it's about two mindset shifts that changed my life and hopefully they will change yours too.